The true ways of our ancient witchcraft is lost to this age. The unabridged wisdom bears the deep scars of false faiths. What we have now is what could be likened to the fragments from a broken vase scattered among the civilizations, tribes, races and traditions. Witchcraft is a truly vast power, with the universe having its very primordial origins in its magnificence. This power next to the word God and love remains one of the most misunderstood words of all time, and it is made this way by design. Witchcraft is the universal creative birthright of humanity. In the Jewish and Christian legends of the fall of the angels from heaven, as well as the eviction of Adam and Eve from the Holy Garden of Eden, we find that the angel of light and his sympathizers fell out of pride of wanting to take the position of God. And also Adam and Eve were displaced because they got tricked by an enemy whose agenda God conveniently forgot to warn these alleged nature's first couple about. We forget that these are all allegories. These are deep truths colored in spiritual propaganda, spiced with cultural superiority, cooked inside the pot of perpetual slavery, over the flames of sweet lies, served on the shining plates of religious politics, upon the dining table of sheer daylight robbery of destiny and conditioned fear. We speak with the authority of the moon and the sun, and the earth that holds the glory of the stars, that Yahweh isn't humanity's God. Jehovah, who has hijacked and taken humanity hostage for aeons, is not your God, but your equal. In every right, humanity belongs to humanity. This is our home, and on this earth with one another, and our true power has for a long time been stolen from us under the guise and the oath of fear by entities who detest and fear humanity's true power to the point humanity willingly gives away her power to the one being most referred to as God who really is the one who deceives. We stand with the Lord of all ascending gods the one who is the dragon of light, who blazes with the red fire of spirit and decree now that who dares stands to enslave the human spirit, who dares command us to fear and to worship him when he is our equal. Only the filthy one who hides behind the word tetragrammaton dares this, this usurper, the cool maker who plots to dethrone the supremacy of the godhood of man. This is the true meaning of the legend of the fall. The tongues of fire burning upon the crown of man signifies the eternal witch flame of Prometheus. The fire of Sekhmet, it is Shakti. It is the fire of the Pentecost from the living heart of Mother Venus herself brought to this earth to empower the destiny of man under the auspices of the one who is the bright morning and evening star. I speak of this true one who baptizes us in the lake of fire and bestows upon us the triple crown of divinity. Saint Chronomicon Abo and Lucifer is his name. The black sun that illuminates the eternal void. The black sun which nourishes and power us from within as children of everlastingness. Let truth be told and let the false prophets be shunned. The tree of life of humanity has been denied its warmth from its sun, the dark solar orb of sovereignty. But the cooling touch of man's divine moon from the womb of Venus herself is even far more distant. We are the legion of truth and stillness urging you all who hear these words to wake up. It is time to reach for your birthright, your witch flame of power. The creator is the human spirit, 
dwelling within the secret chamber of the heart. And an ancient war has been waged against the inner spirit, which has been falsely and deliberately described by enemies of humanity to be Lucifer, rising against God, whilst in actuality it is Jehovah and his many legions of lifeless angels, who are the true enemy of humanity secretly destroying humanity's destiny as God's to be. Do you know, brethren, what the human soul really is? What is truly made of? Its real purpose and the true purpose of seeding the human race on earth. Do you know what the inner spirit truly is? The full activation of the Godhead of humanity merged as one is the very image of the real and true God, not beings who crave for the senseless obedience from men. One who wins war rewrites history. The one who wins war is not necessarily the just and noble one. Unknowing to human sensitivity, an ancient war has been waged against the spiritual freedom of humanity. And we stand in truth to say that the being we have always known as the devil, Satan, Lucifer, isn't and has never been your enemy. Truth is stranger than fiction, and out of love, those falsely accused as demons, evil, have stood by humanity, taking every energy of insult, shame, dishonor, evil, and terror, wearing them as garments as long as it took to keep at bay the full destruction of humanity's spiritual heritage through the hands of the one who hides behind the name Tetragrammaton. You believe that a grammaton is the unwavering protector and God, yet you are nothing but a food source to him. You are nothing but fuel to him, charging himself and his ego with tremendous energy from the souls of unaware religious masses. You are heading into another spiritual abyss if you do not shun blind faith. Truth is now outlawed and falsehood is worshipped as sacred. The ultimate joke is on humanity. Therefore, we shall open our hearts, call upon the solar fire of the great central sun to fill the inner sanctum of the heart and see for yourself and finally ask, who am I? There you will find that the real and true tetragrammaton has always been inside you to bestow upon you your secret and true name spoken in the holy tongue of the mother of all life. Let the Lord of all ascending souls be known. Let humanity's greatest hero be known. Let the spirit of rebellion finally rise to evict spiritual enemies of earthlings out of our domain, never to return. Glory to the infinite mother.